Tina Ekman at Black Magic Design for NAB 2015. We've announced a ton of exciting features this year, new products, and some of those are the micro cameras. So if we start first with the micro studio camera, you may have seen our studio camera recently that we announced last year at NAB the 4K or the Ultra 4K versions for catching live events. Well, this year we've announced the Micro Studio Camera, which again is a live camera that you can remotely control via our switchers. There's actually a really exciting addition to this camera. It's basically Micro Four Thirds mount, one inch sensor, lots of great color controls in there that you're again controlling from the switcher with the built-in DaVinci color grading. In addition to that, there's an expansion port on the side where you can connect your B4 lens and have full control over the automation of the B4. In addition to that, there's a battery on the back, so if you need to be running without power attached, you're covered. The whole camera is actually about the size of a tennis ball, and you could then pick your micro four thirds lens that makes sense, or your B4 lens that works for your production. But the size of the camera allows you to put it in all those inconspicuous places to get some pretty exciting action shots or hidden camera type scenes where it's not disruptive for the actor. Lots of possibilities with the new micro studio camera. Same form factor in a new, another new camera called the Micro Cinema Camera, which is the same sensor as our pocket. So we're looking at a three quarter or a Super 16 sensor with 12, 13 stops of dynamic range, and again the Micro Four Thirds lens mount. With that said, we this camera is completely hackable again with that expansion port on the side, and you can basically set up controls on this camera. So if you're placing this in a drone or in a car or in a helmet or in any fast action or any tight little spot, you can remotely control this camera through the, the bus in order to drive focus, start stop, and server controls. There's actually an entire page on our website at Black Magic Design that can help you determine what controls work for your production and you can set up the camera accordingly. Both of these cameras are actually without a uh, monitor on the back, so we've come up with another accessory called the Blackmagic Video Assist, which is a 5 inch 19 by 20, 1920 by 1080 screen that allows you to set up your menus and view the content from the camera. HDMI out from either of those micros into our Video Assist will give you the confidence that your camera is being set up quickly and easily and it's going to look great. You could also use a computer, but we happen to like our monitor as well. For information on any of these products, you can go again to blackmagicdesign.com and we look forward to seeing you next year at NAB.